Hi everybody, it's me, Ask Miss Chris, with bad hair, per norm. There are women that you see them, and every time you see them, they look fantastic. And I look like a train wreck all the time. That's not what I'm here to talk about. People have some, some uh, people who have subscribed to me for a very long time um, saw probably some of my art like way back and then I did a food art thing where you had to do a picture of the art and the stuff that was in your refrigerator and that was fun and I'm rambling big surprise I wonder if my volume is on I recorded a video before and my video I I don't know I didn't bother to check it before I started and I'm rambling big surprise any hoozles we're gonna keep going if I don't have sound then I guess you won't know because I won't post the video but if I do I'll post the video and I'm rambling big surprise and yeah anywho usually I'm talking about same old thing work school blah 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 well as of late I have fallen into the tortured artist um, phase and I feel silly like I can look at it from the outside and be like wow Chris you are being a big baby 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 but then I look at you know, for myself and I'm trying to figure out why and this and that well here's the deal many of you know some of you if any that I do paint I enjoy drawing and painting and art and all things art but I am a computer professional and I go to school for public health and this whole psychology math thing which none of it really is making sense at this point and I'm rambling big surprise where was I going I've been painting a lot lately it's a nice stress reliever especially with classes getting as heavy and intense as they are and having the one bad class and then um, with work so trying to uh, relieve some stress so I'm doing that through painting um, there's an, a local art show here that happens monthly and it is not juried so anybody can bring stuff in and hang it well a couple of my friends convinced me to do that last month and I've begrudgingly did so I did sell a painting so that was nice um, but I've been painting but I was really unsure if I should put anything in the art show this month I just I have this feeling that one I'm a computer professional two I have no formal training as an artist what I've never even taken an art class outside the required class in high school and yeah that's it so I go to these things and there are these people that are really popular local artists and I think you know they've gone to school for it they've been doing it for years they're their own little community I don't feel like I fit in and then on top of that to look at their artwork it's a lot different than mine um, a lot of it is modern abstract you know taking ideas and conceptualizing them so you get like an object in the middle like a floating space or these abstract faces you, and I'm not saying, you know, they're just different from mine. I, I do more of a traditional thing. I talk to my friend R, we'll call him R, talk to him about it. And he's like, you know, maybe it's a good thing that your stuff doesn't look like theirs because then it stands out. And I'm like, okay, that's a true statement, but how am I going to be a tortured artist if you keep bringing logic into this? Mm, he's impossible. But then I have it in my mind, for some reason I have it in my mind, that these people are laughing at me. Now, they very well may be, but I'm talking about my art. You know, I just, I have it in my mind that I, my, it's not art at all. It's me fiddling with paint because I'm a computer professional. I like public health and statistics and psychology and computers and math. There's nothing logical to do with art. So how can mine even be considered art because I'm doing it from a stress relieving standpoint, not an artist's mindset. But maybe I am. So I talked to another friend of mine, one of them, that actually talked me into doing the art show last month. And she said she felt, or after I conveyed my feelings to her, she said she has felt the same way. So I'm wondering if it's just not 
the artist's point of view, and she brought up a very valid logical explanation, which is, with computers, I do put my heart and soul into my work. I'm very mindful of what I do, and I want to do a good job, but it's not my creativeness. See, code is code. No matter who you are, you can code it. It's just a matter of if you're analytical enough to figure out how to code harder things. It's not really creative. You know, it doesn't come from my mind. Okay, it does. This is a, I'm just I'm not doing a very good job in, 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 in explaining this. Okay. Art, on the other hand, it comes from not only your mind, but kind of your heart and your imagination. It's a very emotional thing. So, that, maybe that's a better explanation. It's more emotional. So, a person who is an artist, they take their ideas and their heart and their emotions. DC, you have a request from the young lady across the way to help you or help her with the video game. You're saying no. His answer is no. Oh, okay, DC, but she really needs your help to finish this one. Could you maybe accommodate her for a little bit? No. He I'm says sorry. no, and he apologizes. I'm sorry, but no. I'm I want to get to the one that's locked. She's really wanting to get the one that's locked. Would you perhaps reconsider your time commitments? No. Ooh, I'm he came sorry. back with a no. Oh, so it's a more of an emotional, heartfelt thing where you take your emotions and your heart and your thought and you put it on a canvas and you, you put a visualization to that emotion or that idea that you were feeling. So when you go to an art show and you're dealing with other people, you're taking your emotions and showing them to somebody else and saying, judge me. I'm not so good with that, you know? Code and testing and math and stats and school are all very, it's very objective, it's very direct, it's like either you, 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 could, either you can or you can't do it, or you do it okay, you do it better, you do it great. I mean, there's no real, I don't know. That's messy, I should clean that up. Oh. That's kind of what I thought. So I was going to show you some paintings here that I'm thinking of putting in, and the show is next week. So, yeah, I'm not looking for, I'm not fishing for compliments. I think they're good. I just don't think that they're modern enough. I don't know if they stick out. If, I don't know. I've actually considered, since I'm painting so many, um, of putting them on Etsy. So I'd be more interested in, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Should I do that? Um, do you think? Ooh, and I scored some awesome frames today. It's kind of random. I actually let Squirt name this one. Uh, it's called High Mountains. That's what you get when a nine-year-old names your paintings. So... This one I did the other night, I'm not sure, I, I do got, one of the frames I got is for this painting, and the frame is really cute. It is called Summer Farm, as named by DC. Um, there it is, it's a barn, it's falling down, it has a stump and some trees, and a storm is rolling in. I can't wait to see this in the frame that I got. This one is another mountain, I, put, I painted the mountains one right after the other. What is this one called? I thought I wrote it on there. The oldest named it. Oh wow, I so should not. Because I have to go to Facebook to get the name and then I realize that now that I'm on Facebook I want to read everything and that's how Facebook is killing our society. <laughs> Escape. I really like doing mountains. They're fun. I actually don't like the other mountain picture that's over here. Here's the tiny picture. It's tiny little picture. It's two inches by two inches. It's good. Cute little easel. Yeah, easel's gonna eat you. Nah. I okay, on that note, I guess it's time for me to go with my bad, awesome, weird, non-style hair. Have a great night, everybody.